So let's create our function that will uh, split our uh, users into nicely grouped sections. Um, I'm going to, at the bottom here, put a mark. And put a helper functions here. And I'm going to write another uh, function. So this is this function is going to be file private func. So this function can be used only in our uh, class here in our file. And the function name is going to be split data into sections. Okay. So what we need here. First, we need the title. So we say var section title, which is going to be a string. And we set this to an empty string for now. Then we are going to go through all the users we have, we downloaded from our Firebase. So we say for i in, and we're going to go from zero to self all users dot count. So we get a number from zero to all users count, depending how many users we have uh, we have from our Firebase. Okay, and then we are going to use our uh, number here to get our current record. So let's say let current record, current user actually, is equals to self dot all users and you we get the section of it. So it's the i here. Then uh, we need to find the first character of the current user name so we can uh, see under which section it will go. So I say let first character is equals to and I'm going to access my current user which we just got from here then I'm going to access the first name which is because it's an uh, f user object it has a first name and I'm going to access uh, the first character I'm going to unwrap this so we have the first letter of our user's name um, then I'm going to convert the first character here into a string. So I say let first car string is equals to first, actually let's do it this way. So we say uh, first character. So now we need to check if our first character for the specific user is matching with the past section. So we already have like section. For example, if I did it for Andy, when I come for Avi, I don't have to create a section again because there is already a section. So we need to check if it matches. Uh, we have already this. So we say if first character string is not equals to section title which we have here all right and we are going to set our section title to be equal to our first character so we keep it in our variable there Then uh, we are going to access our uh, all users grouped. So we say self dot all users grouped. And I'm going to access the section title. I'm going to set this to an empty string. And finally, we are going to append the title to our section title list. So we say self dot section 
title list append and I'm going to add my section title here so this uh, uh, this is it for our if statement and now we are going to add the user to our section so we say self dot all users grouped and we are going to access the first character string so we can uh, put the key because all users grouped here is a dictionary so we have a key and we have value of string of users so we put the key and then we put uh, the number of users we have there so my key is going to be my uh, first character string and then I'm going to say dot append and I'm going to append current user so this will append it to my array uh, let's delete this empty part here and we have our uh, split data into section and in our next lecture we are going to call this function to nicely sort our array